All right, Lotus bonus shot, shall we? This is not, oh, another little bunny. Come here, little guy. Come here. He's about to take off. Oh, yep, he's gone. Bye, bunny. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. <clears throat> mic check, mic check. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another Taylor Noriega disc golf video. Today, we're gonna be checking out some Clash Discs new new that releases today. We got ourselves the brand new stock stamp Clash Disc Spice. These ones are reminiscent of like the prototype. They're not similar to the Tour Series ones that Eric Oakley came out with. These ones are actually pretty board flat here. Gonna be very interested because I'm looking for a new overstable 10 nine speed driver to kind of fit what I wanted to do. And then we got the new Clash Disc Lotus. This is an 85 negative one too. It's gonna be my first time ever throwing the Lotus. So I'm pretty stoked to be trying this one. And even though it is the Sunny Peppermint, I have still have never thrown the Peppermint. The Stock Stamp Peppermints go on sale today as well. We are here today at NSU College playing the nine hole course that they got here. So we're gonna put these three to the test. Spice I've thrown, have not thrown this run obviously. But these two are going to be new to me and I cannot wait to try them out because I'm just a huge fan of Clash Discs and I'm ready to fill more molds in my bag with them. All right, we are going to start here at hole one is a par three, 320 feet. I'm just going to give all three of these a rip right off the bat just to see how they all react. We do have a little bit of a tailwind. Definitely probably not going to get the peppermint there, but uh, let's try our little hearts out. I cranked over on that on Anheuser too and that thing still fought out of it. Now we'll follow it up with the spice. Hung it out wide. Here it comes. Spiked right inside the bullseye. I really like the flight of that one. And then we got the Lotus, which has kind of got a cool little halo to it. It's like off white and then just really white on the flight plate. Swung it out wide with that tailwind. Here it comes. Just a nice little pushing hyzer. And that is also in the bullseye. All right, so the peppermint didn't come up as short as I thought it did, but it still leaves us a lengthy putt. See how my putts are feeling today. Ugh, terrible. Maybe no jump putt. Yeah, no jump putt was better. And then we got ourselves here the Lotus for an absolute park job and the spice as well. All right, now we're at hole two, par three, 352 feet. The traditional route is down the left side over here. I've been liking, especially when the park is empty like this, going to the right side where hole three's tee pad is and kind of sneaking through the back door. So I'm gonna try the spice and the lotus. We do have a little bit of headwind here. Look at that. Oh no, whatever. I don't know if that's the stability of the disc or if some kind of ghost wind just took it right into there. So knowing that we're gonna go with the spice and we're just gonna crank over on it, get a good flight, try to get down there. I love that. I love every bit of that. Skip in there. Woo! Don't know if you guys can see it, but that was quite the skip and I think we got ourselves a birdie putt. Also guys, one thing is it is evening time here and I'm trying everything in my power to beat the sunset and get this video done before dark so the video quality is not complete garbage. This is what the peppermint's good for. That's a lot of spin and a lot of angle, but we should be close to the basket. Oh yeah, the peppermint definitely sat right next to the basket. I'll take that all day. All right, hole three is a shorty, it's a par three. It's only 230, 220 feet, slightly uphill. I'm gonna throw the peppermint on like an approach style shot um, off the tee and then I'm gonna try the spice on a forehand. I don't have the best forehands honestly But I feel like something like this I can just kind of give it a little Anheuser and it will do the work for me. I'm gonna go with the peppermint first Looks tasty go in the bucket Whew. And now is this spicy meat the ball Wobble fest central right there, but you know for me that's a serviceable forehand I'll take that nine out of ten Nine out of 10 because it was very wobbly. Usually I'm not really bad at wobbling forehands. It's literally almost eight o'clock and it is still 96 degrees out here. Okay, let's make a putt. Money. And then we've got the old peppermint, the nice little easy two as well. Ugh. Don't putt with them, they're not that great. All right, hole four is a par three, whopping 443 feet. Really the best disc out of all choices is probably gonna be the Lotus. 
That might go into the rough stuff on the left. And there might be some sort of a uh, right to left wind down there as well. But sets us up for a really good shot with the peppermint. All right, into the rough we go. All right, we got it, everybody. Everybody chill out. Actually, this would probably be better for a backhand throw than a forehand. So let's just go ahead and spike her on onto the green. Yeah. I really like the peppermint. Oh my gosh. My socks are covered. Yikes. Yeah, if uh, my approach game can stay like this where I can hit it into the bullseye and putt stress-free, take that in any day of the week. All right, hole five is a par three, 366 feet. Not seeing a massive difference between this and the cinnamon. If you guys have not checked out the cinnamon video yet, go check it out. We got that available as well. So we're going to try the Lotus again, but we're going to give it some good power this time and kind of give it a little bit of respect and see how it flies. Slight little turn out of it, and please hit that big tree down there. Oh, that's fine. Looks like it went into the rough, but around that corner by that tree, it's pretty open over there. All right, so like I said, we got around this corner, and man, my socks are covered in these tiny little stickers. Cash money? No. The wind, the headwind held it a little bit straighter. Correction? Of course not. Clean up on aisle two, and clean up on aisle one. All right, hole six is a par three, 268 feet. This one's going to be another twofer. We're going to go with the peppermint and the spice as well because I want to get a good forehand with the spice because this disc feels amazing on forehand. So we're going to go with the peppermint first on backhand or throw it directly into that tree. Oh, wow. Sneak job of the century. I changed my mind. I am going to go backhand spike hyzer over the trees. I like that. Spike near the basket. That probably came up about 20, 25 short, but it's a putt. Scramble mode activated. Let's go ahead and dunk it in one time, all right? Nope. Just an easy little chip shot. The only reason why I'm throwing my up shots right now is just because I really enjoy throwing that peppermint. Because the thing is just so easy to approach with. All right, let's see if we can clutch up the birdie with the spice here. Yeah. Twice or it's luck. Never luck. Behind the back, peppermint putt. Uh. I think this is the approach this that I've been looking for for a very long time. Really loved throwing the temple for the longest time possible, but they don't make any in premium plastic. And sometimes I want it just in premium plastic just for that extra grip, extra skip. Spitting bars out here right now. All right, we're in Cicada Central right now. Hole seven's a par three. 270 feet tunnel shot. I'm gonna go with the spice on a forehand, just try to work it from left to right. Oh, I like it. Skip on up there. The spice is so nice, it gives guys like me a forehand. All right, Lotus bonus shot, shall we? This one, oh, another little bunny. Come here, little guy. Come here. He's about to take off. Oh, yep, he's gone. Bye, bunny. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Almost foot faulted there. Hole eight is a part of three, 318 feet. You guys have probably seen me play this course. You got water on the left, jail on the right. This might be the hole we might be saying goodbye to the Lotus. And I'm gonna give it my, my most committed shot on this hole with the Lotus. Well, that was kind of a, uh, a really lucky branch, but luckily we got an upshot with the peppermint. Yeah. Yes, sir. Make sure you always practice your putts, no matter where you're at. Yee. Eat. Ha. All right, it is just about time to wrap up. The sun is going down. Beautiful Oklahoma skies above us. Hole nine, par three, 329 feet. We're gonna go another two for here. We're gonna start with the Lotus first. Put it on hyzer, and it's just kind of pushing the hyzer skip up there see if I can pump out a spice that far but it's faster that might actually be landing right where the lotus is at see you got the CTP no contest there the spice came up well short and the lotus is right over there we're just gonna put one each from both flies that looked pretty 
Not gonna lie, I was honestly trying to walk that last putt in. So here is the Lotus, pin high. Wind got me. What about Lotus on the forehand? Nope, sailed her. All right, so out of the three discs, let's find out which mold I like the most, need a little bit more work on, and the one that I could care less for. All right, so to be real honest, when I do disc reviews, I give my full honest opinion. This thing is one of those discs that feels really good in the hand, but just doesn't accomplish the flight that I want it to. So it's not gonna replace any discs in my bag or go in my bag. I got plenty of other discs that I know what they do that is similar to what I thought this would do, if that makes any sense. So Lotus, I'm out on that. The Spice is going to be the one that I'd probably put in a little bit more work with as I have a grasshopper on my leg because I do really like how board flat this run of spice is a little bit on the gummier side which is nice so when it heats up you can really dig your hand in there and get some clean forehands and even on backhands it's surprisingly nice and comfortable as well but the absolute winner from this drop is 100 percent the clash this peppermint this is a disc that's going to go straight into my bag as my new overstable putt and approach disc because everything that i can do with it i can put it on power on backhand I can finesse it a little bit with forehand up shots, and I'm not the most confident player with forehands, but something like this just gives me that little bit of confidence that if I roll my wrist a little bit, it's still overstable to where it's going to fight out of it. I appreciate you guys tuning in. That is going to be the Lotus Spice and Peppermint available right now. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can purchase them, and they should be available at other local retailers that carry Clash Discs. So if you have a local retailer that doesn't carry Clash Discs, I'd go ahead and hit them up and tell them they need to do whatever they can possible because this is some of the best feeling plastic I've ever put my hands on. As always, a like would be greatly appreciated. And until the next time, guys, we will catch you guys later. Straight in the bag.